Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechaha Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Archim out there. Spreading his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the few Aquathium that we're listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled It's clear to see why two thirds of the nation of Israel will be destroyed. Okay? Because according to biblical prophecy, Zechariah 13 and 8 on down, two thirds of the nation of Israel will be destroyed. And one third, which is the elect, will be saved. Now, one might question, well, why will the Most High destroy 66.6% um, of the nation of Israel? Well, even look at that 66.6, .6, man. That's because 66.6%, .6%, look at that. That's because two thirds of the nation of Israel have subscribed to the ways of Esau Edom, man. They've been beguiled by the serpent And pretty much They're too far gone man They're, they're uh, uh, Two thirds of the nation of Israel Is past saving man You know you, you can't You can't uh, At this point man They can't be saved You know They're too unclean They're too wicked They're too far They're too deep into Esau Edom's system, into his indoctrination, you know, calling on Jesus Christ, believing in Islam, Buddhists, you name it, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel are too far gone, man. So the Lord, you know, there, there's a, uh, and you know, on top of that, damn, why is it so dark over there? Must be a fire, maybe a barbecue. Anyways, um, as I was saying, you know, the, the, the Most High has got his men out there on the highways and the byways doing the street preachings. Got his men uh, doing the sit-downs on the YouTube or the various streaming platforms, mainly the YouTube. And still, um, our people don't want to hear, man. They don't want to hear the words of the Lord. They don't want to repent. You know, they, they want to be niggas in Esau, Edo's, in Esau Edom's world. They want to go around stabbing each other up. You know, they want to uh, go to these party islands. You know, uh, the week before, it was Marbella. Last week, it was Malta. You know, uh, uh, Eve wants to dress like sluts, like hoes pretty much barely wear, wearing anything and you know wants to shake their ass uh, 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 unrestrained in front of all these men you know with more time you've got uh, Eve going to these party islands you know and they got they got a man at home you know yeah hey baby I'm just going for a girls trip you know I'm going on a holiday with the girls listen man if, if she ever drops you that, man, you know what time it is. Well, you should know what time it is. And then now, you 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 know, you're in the party island, you're in Malta, Spain, with the girlies. And you know, and then this other nigga want to get on you, but you got a man at home. But hey, guess what, man? You know, you still want to um, bust it open on, on holiday. You know, come back home. And kiss your husband That you ain't done nothing wrong That's written in a uh, Sirach You know To uh, 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 open up her quiver Against every arrow Something to that effect But that's what you uh, You Eves man You Israelite women are doing man That's why I'm also the majority of the two thirds Are going to be uh, You Israelite women man Because firstly uh, 
you make up the majority of the two thirds because uh, there's uh, more men, sorry, there's more Israelite women than there is Israelite men, e even for other nations because a man is meant to have more than one woman. So it only makes sense that there's more women than there is men out here. So of course that means you would make up most of the two thirds. And you women, man, you don't want to repent either, man. You love being a hoe in Esau society, man. You love dealing with multiple niggas, man. You love cheating on your nigga and bragging about it in the girls' group chat. And you niggas, you love committing adultery, man. You niggas take pride in sleeping with another man's wife. You know, you hear, you hear, you hear it all the time in the rap music, man. The rap music always talking about I took a nigga bitch I fucked my man bitch And all that shit man I fucked his baby mama And all that nonsense man You know Israel don't want to get right with the Lord Ultimately Israel don't want to repent Because they know Coming into this truth They're going to have to make some changes man They're going to have to Stop committing adultery Stop eating shrimp, pork You know Keeping the law, statutes and commandments to the best of their abilities Doing the work of the Lord, going out on the highways and the byways, doing the lessons You know, Jake don't want to do that, man Jake wants to be a nigger in Esau society, man Okay Jake loves dwelling in iniquity So, pretty much, at this point, there's no saving Jake, man And that's why all that's left for Jake, or for two-thirds the nation of Israel is destruction, man. But I've been going on for long enough, so let me bring out the precepts, man. I pray, Lord willing, this is edifying. We're going to start off in the. Uh... Well, actually, I was going to start in the book of Isaiah. But I'm going to bring out. I'm going to go to the Apocrypha. I'm going to go to the Apocrypha. And I'm going to bring out the root, chapter 2. And verse 30, and it reads, For I, let me put this brightness up, hold on. And it reads, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people, the Israelites, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Now, the only ones that's going to wake up and remember themselves are the elect, the nation of Israel, man. The rest of the nation of Israel have had their consciences seared with a hot iron. Meaning they're not able to receive the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of these scriptures, man. But you, you bring out these scriptures to Jake and they just reject it, man. Or they might, you know, they might be uh, enchanted for a while, you know. But in the moment uh, they walk away, you know, that demon that's already in them pretty much sways them away man what's that that's written in in in, in uh matthew 13 i believe you know some sown on stony ground okay or the you know it speaks about the deceitfulness of riches and things of that nature man you know jake you know they, they don't want to come into this truth and start suffering so that demon that's on them just just sways them out man but you know you gotta if you're serious if you're of the elect, you're going to fight against that demon, man. Personal testimony real quick. I remember when I first heard about this truth, you know, I'd be sitting at work and all I could be thinking at work is I can't wait to get home to go, you know, switch on my TV and to watch these lessons, man. Get into it. Get into the truth. You know, learn more, learn more. I wanted to learn more, but guess what? What happened? When I got home, um, you know, I, I'll just be... Uh, doing that mindless scrolling you know was there a fire over here was that about, uh, i think there was a fire man let me uh, i can't really turn this camera around so i'm gonna just do it like this you see that hey if it was a fire hey, that's judgment man you know it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power but anyways yeah so i'd get home and then it'll be mindless scrolling on the social media many other distractions phone calls or whatever and then that that cycle continued for some time you know i go to work desiring to come home 
so I can get into the lessons and get home and not get into the lessons. And so I sat down one day and I was like, hold on a minute, why does this keep happening? Why is it that I always desire to go to get into it? Now I'm given the opportunity to get into the lessons. I, I, um, 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 I, I don't do it, you know? At the time I didn't realize it was a demon, but what I did realize is that I had to fight against that feeling, you know? I had to fight against it and, and, and you know, make myself watch the videos and the thing is, once I'd watch the videos, I'd always be comforted, man. And it'd always leave me, I'd always wanna, you know, I watch a 40 minute video, 45 minute video, hour video. And I was just so beguiled by the wisdom that I was receiving that, you know, the hour video would pass and I'd be like, bro, what, is that it? And I'd be looking for the next video and then I wanna watch that. But you see, Jake ain't got that. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, they ain't got that same um what's the word man that same drive that same you know that that oh, can i say it man let's say yeah that drive to want to learn more to want to seek their power but guess what they're gonna have that drive once there's the famine of the word they're in the middle of jacob's trouble they realize that they uh have been disregarding the wrong you know Focusing their energies on the wrong places That's when they're going to want to know But by then For a lot of Jake It's going to be too late <sighs> Excuse me It's going to be too late man So you know The Lord has got his men out here man Teaching his word Got his men Putting the videos up And Jake still don't want to listen man So at this point Jake really don't have any excuse so the lord is going to be justified in the amount of death destruction and calamities that he's going to bring up upon two-thirds of the nation of israel man let me bring out another precept this is the book of this is originally where i wanted to start isaiah one and three and it reads the ox knoweth his owner and the ass is master's crib. The ass is the donkey. All right, for you simpletons out there. But Israel, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. So not only don't the people know Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, they don't bother to either. They don't consider it, man. They're like, nah, nah. I'm just calling Jesus. Nah, I'm gonna be an atheist. You know? Nah, I'm gonna shake my booty naked, man. In front of all these men Nah I'm going to take multiple rods Nah I'm going to fuck my man's woman man You know They don't consider man They don't uh, They don't consider there's a higher power Beholding all their sins Their iniquity And unless they repent They're going to be judged for it man Alright Let's read it again Isaiah 1 and 3 The ox knoweth his owner And the ass his master's crib But Israel doth not know my people doth not consider Ah, sinful nation A people laden with iniquity Sin upon sin, right? A seed of evildoers Children that are corrupters They have forsaken the Lord They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger They are gone away backward Boy, our people have gone all the way back, man All the way back Past salvation, man our people are too far gone, man. You try and show our people the truth. Ah. Ah. That's boring, man. Can you have fun in the truth? Ah. Don't want to be a part of it. You know? I can't fuck my man's woman. Once I'm in the truth. Nah. I don't really want that, man. You know, our people are gone, man. Okay? Far gone, man. You know, a lot of our people, you just got to pretty much look at them and say, see you on the other side. You know, see you in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because, you know, Lord willing, we're part of the elect, but boy. Damn, we see our people are about to be destroyed, man. Truth be told. You know, let's read on. You know, our people are gone, man. Like, like literally, I just see Jake sitting in his car. And he got a, got a balloon in his mouth. You know, nitrous oxide, man. That's the that's the new thing. That's the party drug. 
amongst Israel now, you know, nitrous oxide. Literally, what do they call that? Is that, is that N2O? I believe that's N2O. You know, and our people, they're all over that, man. Our people are gone. Two thirds of the nation of Israel will be destroyed, man. We'll see them on the other side. Okay. Uh, Isaiah 1 and 5. Why should you be stricken anymore? You know, look, look that's why the Lord, man. Like, I just see that nigga doing balloons in his car. The Lord's like, well, you know, why the hell should I bother you, with you, man? Why, why should I add more stripes onto you when you're still just going to be a wicked, nasty nigga anyway? Ultimately, the Lord is just going to burn these niggas with fire, man. And various other gruesome judgments that's going to come up upon two thirds of the nation of Israel. Isaiah 1 and 5 again, why should ye be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. You see, the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. You know, you niggas' minds are in the wrong place, man. Here you are, you've got your enemy getting ready to come in like a flood. And all you care about is, as you know, uh, just nonsense, man. All you care about is attending that Beyonce concert. All you care about is that Burner Boy concert, man. You know, where's the next party island? Where, you know, and things of that nature, man. So really and truly, Jake's gone past the point of, 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 uh, of salvation, man. There's only one thing left to do, man. The Lord is just going to have to destroy these niggas. All right. And uh, let me read verse six real quick. Isaiah one and six. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and put putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. So our people, man, they're too far gone, man. They're past the point of salvation, man. And we just have to accept it. All right, cause we, you know, we try and preach the word onto them. They mock, they scoff. They don't believe uh, Yahweh Shai is coming in their lifetime. You know, they love being a wicked nigga, man. They love it. So, you know, in Jeremiah 11, verse uh, 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 14, Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. So yeah, man, we ain't gonna feel sorry for Jake when, when, when you know, the Most High's hand is raised up against them. Cause we tried, man. We tried to show Jake the way. I mean, I'm sure you brothers, man, a lot of you brothers, you first heard about this truth and the, the first thing you tried to do was, um, you know, you try to show your family members, you know, you try to show mum and dad, siblings, your woman or whatever. And uh, it was met with uh, harsh rejection, man. Nah, we ain't calling on Yahweh Shai. We ain't believing in the name of Yahweh. But show me Yahweh Shai. We ain't the Israelites. We ain't in captivity. You know, we ain't born men. We ain't born women. Okay. Cool, man. And they start, you know, now they're talking shit. They're, they're talking all kind of shit about you. Slandering your name and stuff. You know, they don't really agree with what you do. So already you're like, you know what? To hell with you, man. You know, what more are these niggas in the world? All right, they're, they're gonna come back in the kingdom anyway, man. But the whole head is sick here on this side. So, you know, we don't need to lift up a prayer or a cry for them, man. We just gotta let the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai be done. All right, let's go to Jeremiah 3 and 1. And it reads, they say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that uh, land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again unto me, yet return again to me, saith the Lord. Yeah, so pretty much that's going into Jake. Believing in all these different false philosophies, man. You've got Jake all up into Christianity, all up into Islam. 
Hinduism, Buddhism, some are just outright atheists, man. You know? But then guess what? They're going to return unto the Lord. They're going to remember that time they saw brothers on the highways and the byways. They're going to remember that time where they saw a video of this truth online. They're going to remember that name that was mentioned, Yahweh. Uh, why Yahweh Shai? And they're going to try and, you know, call upon that name in the time of trouble. But guess what, man? The Lord, he ain't going to answer them, man. That's why we read Jeremiah 11 and 14. You know, because our people are too far gone, man. Way past the point of salvation. Uh, we just have to accept that, Israel, man. You know, you hopeful elect. All right? You know, scriptures say to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. We ain't got time to be trying to wake up the whole nation, man. Yeah, I was trying coming for the whole nation anyway. So it really is a waste of time, man. To work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. All right? And feed the flock, feed the sheep, man. Do the work. Okay? This is Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. You know, you, you niggas forgot um, the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. Forgot about the law, statutes, and commandments. Forgot about the true names. You know, no, no, do you want to remember, man? Uh, how do we know you don't want to remember? Well, the Lord has his men out there, man, trying to wake you up and you don't want to hear it. So we know you definitely don't want to uh, repent and come back into the way of your forefathers, man. But that's okay. That's all right, man. But it's all Bible prophecy anyway. You know, two thirds of the nation of Israel will be destroyed, and one third, which is the elect, will be saved man that's just how it is and we don't know if we're of the elect really and truly i'm not doing this video saying i'm of the elect no way but we are uh... that's why we call ourselves so lucky that's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect man but really and truly it's our hope we do make it as part of the hopeful elect as part of the elect you know what did it say in habakkuk 3 and 2 I've heard that speech and was afraid. We have heard what, um, you know, we've heard what the Most High has set out to do. You know, all the judgment he's gonna bring. And we're afraid, man. That's why we're doing all that we can to make sure that, that, that you know, we can make it as part of the elect, man. All right? We're striving unto perfection, contrary to two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. I'm gonna close out on this one here. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter one. And 24, because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out, and let me start from 22. How long ye simple ones will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scornings and fools, uh, hate knowledge you know you niggas man you hate knowledge you hate when the truth comes out man you hate being reproved and rebuked by the men of the lord you hate it man and you show us all the time no doubt verse 23 turn you at your at my reproof behold i'll pour out my spirit onto you all right how's that through teaching this truth okay i put my spirit out onto you I will make my words known unto you. I will make known my words unto you, okay? Through his men. All right, speak down the ears of my people prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth. Roughly paraphrasing 2nd Ezra 15. All right. Uh, verse 24, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded because ye have set out no, all my counsel and with none of my reproof. You didn't want to hear this word. You didn't want to repent. You didn't want to get right. Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, man. 
And how's the Lord going to laugh? He's going to laugh through his men, through his prophets, man. Those who you mocked and scoffed at. Those who you laughed at, man. Guess what? Those same individuals are going to be laughing at you when your time of trouble comes, man. Because you didn't want to get right. You didn't want to repent. You didn't want to hearken, man. All right? So we ain't going to be feeling sorry for you niggas when that time of trouble comes, man. We're going to be laughing at you niggas. All right? Uh... Verse 27 for When your fear cometh as desolation And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind When distress and anguish cometh upon you Then shall they call upon me Early Sorry Then, then shall they call upon me But I will not answer They shall seek me early But they shall not find me Because the time to find the Lord is now Not when you're neck deep in Jacob's trouble man Okay Uh Verse 29 For that they hated knowledge And did not choose the fear of the Lord You didn't choose the fear of the Lord man You chose to be a wicked nigga in the world You chose to shake your ass in motor Pretty much fucking naked man You niggas decided to To commit adultery To call on Allah You know uh, being, being a Muslim That's the new trend man Calling on Allah Well guess what man You better call on Allah When that time of trouble comes man You're going to see that Allah Ain't going to come and save you but that's all right, man. As uh, Elder Apostle Kabar says, where words can't teach, adversity will. Where words can't teach, adversity will. And you hear those sirens in the background, man. But guess what? When that time of trouble comes, man, the, 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 the police are going to gonna need the police, man. That's how bad it's getting ready to get out here, man. You simple ass jakes, man. You know, you, 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 you want to uh, uh, trust in Esau. Even though Sirach 12 and 10 says Never trust thine enemy But Jake don't know not to trust their enemy Because they don't, they don't open up the scriptures man They don't read the bible man And that's why they're going to be destroyed Alright You know I pretty much made the point on that You know we, we just got to stay strong man You know and endure until the end Because only those who endure until the end will be saved So Yeah man Don't worry about these niggas in the world man Yeah they might be living their best life and having fun But hey we ain't missing out you know, this is the great, having this wisdom, knowledge and understanding is the greatest gift anyone could receive, man. And the Lord didn't just give it to anyone, he gave it to you and a few others like-minded like you, man. So don't take that for granted. But anyways, man, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.